From the motion-captured performances of The Last of Us 2 and Red Dead Redemption to the incredibly touching subject matter of something like Celeste or Chicory, there are some games that can play your heartstrings beautifully. Whether it be heart-wrenching subject matter or shocking last-minute twists, I'm Scott from WhatCulture.com and these are 9 incredibly emotional video games that will totally break you. Number 9. This War of Mine Inspired by the Siege of Sarajevo that took place across 1992 and 1993, This War of Mine is a unique look into the one portion of the populace we tend to forget about in gaming, civilians. Framed as a survival game through and through, you'll attempt to survive as many nights in this bombed out city as possible. Mainly, this involves sending one of your group out into the night to scavenge for supplies. Doing so opens up a number of moral quandaries though, as there are plenty other families and individuals doing the same. Do you attempt to sneak past them, maybe craft a makeshift weapon and take it with you? How about bringing along a stack of food and medical supplies to trade? Remember, you're not an action hero with a plan outside of whatever you can improvise. Altercations will often go sour. In Injuries will occur and your home base will likely get raided. Shoot someone like in any other game and there's a chance your character will get depression or question why they get to live at all when someone else doesn't. All of this forces you to feel the ramifications of pulling the trigger. This war of mine is absolutely unforgiving and with your salvation happening on a random day after a certain amount of time has passed, it genuinely feels like you're just barely holding on at every turn. Number 8. Firewatch Dealing with life's individual hardships can make for incredibly involving fiction, and it's because Firewatch is such a deeply personal tale that you end up getting swept along for the ride. Playing as character Henry following a turbulent series of events, he takes a job atop a watchtower in the middle of the Wyoming wilderness to get away, letting Campo Santo's unique feel start to unravel. Whilst the surrounding forests are forever cloaked in a gorgeous orange hue thanks to Ollie Moss's sublime art direction, it's paired off against Henry's isolated mindset, allowing you to build an optional relationship with fellow Firewatcher Delilah. Through contextual dialogue options, you'll dictate how close this relationship becomes, alongside another revelation that you seem to be being monitored by an unknown company. Everything is also juxtaposed against characters, the Goodwins, a father and son combo who have spent time in your vicinity, mirroring that need to get away. There are bumps in the night, mystery elements that reinforce how tranquility can turn to too quiet on a dime, and some of the most bone-chilling reveals and jump scares in gaming, all serving to re root back into that opening 10 minutes before rolling credits and letting the player digest everything they've just seen. Number 7. The Walking Dead Season 1 Taking the Walking Dead mythology as a base plate and moving away from the increasingly ridiculous actions of the TV counterpart at the time, it allowed Telltale to strike gold after so many middling releases. Marrying a mature narrative that was wholly original in 2013 to a modernized take on the point-and-click genre, sadly Telltale could never match the success of this season, but it's still very much worth playing. This more considered pace lets you really get into the mindset of multiple characters, before implementing a series of decisions that shape the story, deciding who lives or dies and which characters' motivations truly get fleshed out. Taken as a whole, the story of Clementine is pretty astonishing, especially because it was told across seven years and a lot of development hell. Someday it feels like a superbly polished version of these games will get the recognition they deserve, but season 1 is more than worthwhile if you need a starting point. Number 6. A Normal Lost Phone Directly addressing various prejudices often levied against the LGBT community, A Normal Lost Phone is available on Switch and Steam but is best played on mobile. Why? Because this app is designed to mimic another phone entirely. Gameplay is framed around the idea that you, literally you, have discovered what you'll find out is the main character's phone. One where there are text messages asking what happened before you then attempt to figure that out. Some of the puzzles are a little obtuse as you deduce passwords and secrets locked away, and it does all feel a bit invasive to troll through someone's personal life, but the story here gives you a really unique agency and payoff. A massively important game, A Normal Lost Phone, will leave a mark on all those who see it through. Number 5. Gone Home it's easy to forget how huge Gone Home was, how essential it is as an interactive story, and all the conversations that came after about whether or not it was a video game. Many years later, it still works best when you go in completely blind, but regardless, we can still cover some major positives. Playing as one Caitlin Greenbrier as she returns home following a gap year, you'll be greeted not by hugs and an open-armed family, but with a note on the door from your sister, apologizing. From here, you're tasked with finding out precisely what happened in the year you were away. By 
by exploring your new house and inspecting every last item or piece of information on offer, listening to a variety of audio recordings from your sister herself. Needless to say, there are plenty of twists and turns along the way, but the true genius of Gone Home is how it plays with the established narrative conventions of first-person storytelling and horror games overall. The more years you've been a gamer, the more the game can play with your expectations, and that, alongside a stellar narrative, is the thing that makes Gone Home such a treasure. Number 4. Inside when we talk about emotions in games, it tends to be negative, or more specifically, sequences that made you sad. For inside, it'll stir up a number of primal feelings, culminating in one of the most raw and powerful sequences of all time, meaning that as the credits finally creep up the screen, you'll need a minute or two to come back down. Playing like a side-scrolling puzzle platformer, you're cast as a small boy infiltrating a series of industrial structures, the whole game pulling off various visual nods to the likes of George Orwell's 1984, as it frames a world full of the drudgery of sheer production and people being fed to the machine. Come the close of the game, and this is the one entry I'll do vague spoilers for, though everything is interpretational anyway, you'll become part of a larger sentient mass of congealed flesh, essentially a metaphor for any violent uprising against the upper classes, breaking out of your watery prison and barreling through offices and rooms as you decimate any onlookers. It's this contrast, this sudden rush of pure mob mentality power and destruction as you wipe out authority figures and innocents alike, knowing the shift is coming doesn't still its impact, and overall Inside is a masterpiece of game design, underpinned by a building emotional connection that culminates like nothing else. Number 3. Brothers A Tale of Two Sons a severe left turn after the all-action delights of the Chronicles of Riddick, Starbreeze released Brothers A Tale of Two Sons as an unexpectedly brilliant adventure game. Helmed by the now very well-known Joseph Farrers, Brothers is pure Tolkien in its framing of a couple of villagers leaving their quaint little dwelling to journey out into the world in search of a cure for their father. Yet the unique beats of gameplay come from controlling the pair simultaneously. One analog stick and a shoulder button each is all you'll get, which, once you've overcome the mental acrobatics necessary to process both characters' movements at once opens up a number of really innovative and memorable puzzles that are fun to solve and literally get your head around. Of course, there's an emotional through line to Brother's story too, but it's all handled in such a fairy tale fashion. The game can rise up to the heights of soaring through intertwining canyons on the back of a griffin before seeing the characters embrace each other during a moment of pure peril. If you're yet to experience Brothers for yourself, it is truly outstanding. Number 2. That Dragon Cancer what was surely one of the most harrowing and quite confusing games to put together from the creator's point of view, That Dragon Cancer is the real-life story of developers Ryan and Amy Green's young son Joel and his sad battle with the titular life-taking disease. Already through subject matter alone, you'll know whether or not it's the sort of story that's going to be a bit too much for you, but the way the Greens implemented their own experiences into the game is nothing short of brave in the purest sense. Graphics take on a deliberately dreamlike and artistic hue as a way of getting around the lack of voice acting. Instead, relying on basic animations that are often more effective overall, as you end up transporting yourself into the scene, going through each day as it came like they once did. A truly raw experience that had the fortitude to tackle one of humankind's most harrowing topics, that Dragon Cancer is a testament to the power of interactive storytelling as a force for good. And number one, to the moon. Of all the underrated masterpieces, Ken Gao's To The Moon most deserves your attention. Focusing on an inception-like tale of granting an old man's dying wish, you play as two scientists who rewrite core memories, meaning any dying or otherwise incapacitated patient can believe they've achieved the impossible before the end. Already, that is a very touching setup, and from then on out, To The Moon is a heartstring puller of the highest order. Gao's script walks the line between unbelievably emotional exchanges as you discover what this man called Johnny's life was like before his life-threatening condition, alongside some humorous exchanges between scientists Neil and Eva. It's a tricky balance to get right, but Gao does so with the utmost confidence. The concept brings you in immediately, and despite it not having the graphical chops of something like Telltale's best work or the newer Don't Not games, To The Moon excels above and beyond by believing in both its subject matter and video games as a delivery mechanism. And those are just nine incredibly emotional video games that will totally break you. Let me know your favorites down in the comments below, and please subscribe to the What Culture Gaming Podcast. For now, I've been Scott from whatculture.com, and I'll catch you soon.